All right, Aquarius, right now it looks like one of you is not being able to move on. Could be you, could be them, could be both of you, okay? We have the Eight of Cups in reverse here. One of you is emotionally very, very invested into this connection. You tried to walk away, you could it. Or this, this could be them, okay? But someone wants to return back, okay? After they tried to move on, but they weren't successful. You with the Four of Pentacles in reverse here, looks like you're letting go of a situation or letting go of a person who you were holding on to very tight. This person is thinking about the situation very, very logically, okay? Very practically. Um, we'll clarify later, okay? This could be someone who has a lot of emotions for you, okay? But they're just not the best at expressing them, okay? So they're holding back emotionally, but they're looking at the situation very rationally, all right? Only dealing with facts and logic and no emotions. You're very confused here with the Seven of Cups, okay? So this could be someone, again, who's very cold, detached, okay? And because you could be dealing with an air sign, this is someone who's very... Um, uh, either their communication is very cutthroat, okay, which makes you look like, okay, that, do you have any emotions for me or not? Which, because of the Seven of Cups, keeps you very confused, okay? You don't know where you stand in their life or it's just this person, you feel this person has a lot of options. They keep you as an option or you just don't have clarity about the situation. Nine of Pentacles in reverse in their feelings. So this could be someone who's not working towards this connection right now, okay? This could be someone very focused on their inner goals. This is how they could feel about you also, that you're fed up and tired of putting your energy into this situation right now. But things are not moving forward, okay? Quite stagnant out here. Someone who's exhausted and tired and fed up of putting work again and again, okay? A uh, mutual energy tower in reverse here. So it looks like you're both trying to avoid a disaster out here. We'll see why. Action you plan on taking is the nine of wands. So it looks like you're very, very guarded from this person. Okay, you've done this with this person a hundred million times and now you refuse to do it again. However, I do see you as holding on, okay? Not giving up as yet. You have that one wand left before you completely let go of the situation. The action they plan on taking is the seven of swords here. Why? That's the card of someone being deceptive, someone being strategic, or someone just holding back, okay, their feelings. So we're going to find out why. Most likely outcome is the Knight of Swords in reverse. So yeah, holding back communication. All right, let's see. This could be someone ignoring their feelings also, okay? All right, why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? He has the overall situation for Aquarius. Clap for the Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Page of Cups. Someone can't move away. There's someone coming in with... Emotional communication or an apology here, okay? Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who probably wants something long term with you. But yeah, there's someone here who's wanting to communicate with you. They have a lot of love for you. They want they have something to offer you. I feel this is more of an apology. Okay, they want to restart. What's the four of pentacles in reverse? Yeah. Four of pentacles in reverse with the seven of swords in reverse. It looks like you're dealing with someone, you let go of someone who was a cheater, a liar, or someone deceptive, but uh, this is definitely someone, I feel, <laughs> on your mind, you're letting go of this person, but you're feeling very guilty at the same time. Or, this could be someone who you're dealing with who's very in and out of your life, okay, but you know this is someone who's, who's constantly, uh, you know, very deceptive, you know, like constantly playing games with you, okay, and uh, they're coming, they're wanting to return back to you, anything, okay. What's the king of swords here? What's the king of swords here? On their mind is communication. What's the king of swords here? You could be feeling very guilty about letting this person go. Because you could have held on to them for a very long time. I do not keep getting that. King of swords, eight of swords. This person wants to, is thinking very logically. But at the same time, they're, they're overthinking. Because with eight of swords, yeah, they're in their head, you know. So king of swords with the king of swords in reverse. This person is very unsure about communicating with you. One second they're thinking logically, the other moment they're not. Okay, so one second they're emotional, you know, and when the king of swords lets their emotions get the best of them, right? They're seriously not someone you want to be around, okay? They can be hot-tempered, they can be temperamental, they can just be nasty, they can be very, very uh, emotionally manipulative, you know, stuff like that. But they're very stuck in their head about what they should do next, okay? They're in their head. This is all due to fear. They don't know how you'll react. What's the Seven of Cups? <clears throat> Hermit in reverse. So yeah, it looks like you want to return to this person, okay? There's a lot of confusion here, okay? But definitely with the Hermit in reverse here, you're coming out of some kind of isolation mode. There is a lot of confusion here. Uh, maybe you've <coughs> isolated yourself. And you're wanting to come towards this person now after doing a lot of thinking, okay? Because with the Seven of Cups here, this is just things are not clear to you, okay? You're not being able to think practically. What's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? 
What's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, see, this person is in no mood of wanting to collaborate, wanting to do any kind of teamwork. Right now, they're not focused on the relationship at all. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, two things. One, either, not either. Things are very stagnant, okay? Things are very stagnant, okay? Very slow moving, all right? Anyways, this was someone who was dragging the connection here, okay? And, you know, things were not moving. Things were moving really, really slow. And now they've completely come to a halt. They're not putting the effort at all. And they're not even wanting to be with you. Though. Not be with you, but they're not wanting to be with you on the same page or not wanting to collaborate. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Why is the tower in reverse here? All right. Fly for the tower in reverse. Why is this a mutual energy? Emperor, you both want to take control of the situation, okay? you both changing or I think this is more of one person out here, okay? Tower in reverse here. Someone wants to take control of the situation, okay? And is trying to avoid a disaster is what I'm getting. Three of swords in reverse. I think you're both trying to heal and recover. Either you're trying to forgive and move on or you're trying to get a reconciliation here. But the emperor here, someone's setting healthy boundaries out here is also what I'm getting. Why is the nine of wands here? Why is this the action that Aquarius will take? Empress, I guess you're <coughs> you're wanting growth with this person. You want commitment. You want a lot of growth expansion. You want to give birth to something new with this person, okay? You're looking at long term, but at the same time, you're very guarded from this person, okay? See, Ten of Pentacles, this is what you want. You want long term. You want marriage commitment with this person here. You're feeling very guilty about letting this person go, okay? But it's like you cannot help it. You cannot help it because this person keeps putting you in a spot where you just don't know where you stand, okay? This person out here, they're thinking logically, but at the same time, they're very confused. Okay, they're in their head. They're living in fear. Right now, they're just not ready to cooperate or compromise with you, okay? They're not ready to work with you on the same page. You feel like you're hitting a wall every single time you try to work things out with this person. And that's because this person is just not putting in any effort here. Why is the Seven of Swords here the action that they take? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The moon in reverse. Okay. Looks like there's some kind of <laughs> page of wands. There is, uh, I think this person is finally, um, they're being very strategic about their moves is what I'm getting. Okay. That's planning, strategizing about how they can come towards you. Okay. Because with the moon in reverse here, this person was holding back their feelings. Okay. They were holding their emotions. Okay. Not showing you what they really feel, but they're finally going to come wanting to come towards you. Okay. Because they want to express their feelings. Okay. They want to express their emotions. Why is the Knight of Swords in Reverse as the most likely outcome? Clap for the Knight of Swords in Reverse. Three of Swords in Reverse, yeah. It does look like a reconciliation here, okay? Uh, Knight of Swords in Reverse is also the card of, yes, there is someone holding back communication, but at the same time, there is some kind of healing that is taking place, okay? We do have the Nine of Swords in Reverse and Seven of Pentacles here. So this looks like, yes, you are going to get out of your head. Whoever stressing, worrying about this, okay? Someone wants to get out of their head. They, you know, this is a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing, stress, worry, sleepless nights about the uh, about a situation. I feel this person's finally ready to get out, the, the, get out of their head, okay? But when they come on towards you with the Seven of Pentacles here, I think you're the one who's still going to contemplate on whether you want to put in the effort with this person or not. King of Cups, yeah, see? You have a lot of love for this person here, but you're not showing it to them. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.